Hello, it's Wardrobe Mom here today with you with two new shoes from Zoo Shoe. And both of these are by Jay Adams. The first shoe I have here is this great platform flip flop. This one is called Wave, and as always, is by Jay Adams, sold by Zoo Shoe. This is a more of a foam material. I don't know if you remember these being out like maybe 10 years ago or so, but these were definitely in, and they're starting to bring the big, plat chunky platform back. So, kind of like those soda shoes that you've seen a while ago. Um, this has more of a, I don't know, like a nylon but not stretchy nylon um, material here, which is very comfortable and is easy on the skin, rather, even if it's, you know, like hot outside, it's not very sweaty. Um, I didn't particularly like that there wasn't enough tread on the bottom of the shoe. I felt kind of slippery at times, but I, there's a little bit, but still, like when you're walking on a tile, it feels like you're going to slip and slide. Um, it is a bit cushiony here. I don't know if you can see through the camera. You know, so it feels good on the foot when you're walking, and you know, they're as comfortable as a flip-flop can be. Since these are coming back in style, these are definitely a sandal to have in your collection for the summer. I ordered these in a black because I found out with the foam material, it seems to get a little dirtier easier than other materials, and it's hard to clean once you, you know, once they get dirty. So I ordered these in the black because I thought it would be, you know, last a little longer. They also come in a pink and a white. I will leave a link so you can find these. The second shoe I have here is called Dancer by Jay Adams. This is more of a ballet flat and is more of a pointed toe than the round toes that I have been showing you lately. This is actually my first pointed toe flat. And at first I was a little hesitant about it because I didn't know how I felt about a pointed toe but I thought it was super cute. It definitely looks really cute on. Um, these ties right here make it more elegant-like. You could tie it around your ankle or tie it up your calf if you're wearing, you know, like a prezo or a dress or something in that order. Um, I liked that this had a touch of a heel right here. It's just a touch, but it made it, it made a dramatic difference, you know, for the um, so you don't feel like you're walking, you know, barefoot, I guess you could say, as some flats feel. Um, this is very comfortable to wear. There's a little bit of cushioning inside. It bends great with your foot, so it's kind of, it really is like a ballet flat since, you know, it bends with you. Um, this is a blue suede. This came in a couple other different styles, you know, like there's holes and um, cutouts along the edge of some. There's different colors. There's browns, and I think there was a red and a, like a mauve pink, and, oh, I don't, I, I want to say there's a white, I'm not quite sure, but when I saw this blue, you don't see shoes this color quite often. I was pretty excited, so I had to get this. Super cute on it, and I'm definitely glad that I went with the pointed toe, you know. I was kind of hesitant, but I, I'm sure glad that I did. These are so cute. And again, this is Dancer from Jay Adams. I will leave a link below so you can see the other styles and colors that these come in. Well, I hope you liked my video review on these two gray shoes from Zoo Shoe. As always, I'll leave a link below, like I mentioned, so you can find these two gray styles. And please like and subscribe so you can check out more gray shoes from Zoo Shoe and other trends and styles I have to come. Thank you, and I hope to see you again.